If it is necessary to inspect and service the diaphragms, first ensure that the oil has been drained from the reservoir. After removing the valve plate, lift the first diaphragm by one edge and turn the pump shaft until the diaphragm moves up to top dead center. This will expose a machined cross hole in the plunger shaft behind the diaphragm. Insert a plunger holder tool through one of the holes to hold the diaphragm up. The proper size plunger holder is included in the Wanner toolkit. Unscrew the diaphragm using the appropriate spanner, removing the diaphragm for inspection. If a diaphragm has ruptured and foreign material or water has entered the oil reservoir, don't operate the pump until the diaphragms in question have been replaced and the pump oil reservoir has been flushed completely and refilled with fresh oil. A ruptured diaphragm generally indicates a pumping system problem and replacing only the diaphragm will not solve the larger problem. Diaphragms can wear for a variety of reasons. Some kinds of wear and the likely causes are highlighted in the maintenance and servicing manual and the troubleshooting section of this CD.